What would you say the highlight of your career has been? Mm, I mean, the show at the at Paradise was like my first show, so that was cool. Kill Tony was all right, but that's just like a minute of comedy, so it's not yeah. you know that much. I would have liked to do more time, but it worked out well. I mean, they didn't shit on me too hard. So. <laughs> yeah. No, fucking, I was at that Kill Tony show. It sure seems like uh, he liked you a lot. Yeah, I met him before. Like, uh, not like, well, not really met him, but I went up to one of his. Uh, he used to. He. I don't know if he still does, but he used to do a pay per view thing that are for WWE. You could go in there and they would just like commentate on the pay per view. Yeah. And he watched it, and I won a an action figure, <clears throat> and I grabbed it from him, and he and he, and he goes, "Who who wants it to be? Uh, how do you say? It? Is it all right if I put his name back in the bucket so he could win more stuff or something like that?" So, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it seemed like he fell in love with me pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember he called you San Diego's Bray Wyatt. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. That was cool, man. Hell yeah. Uh, I mean, I was so pissed because, uh, you know, I was trying to go on that show and that one guy put in like ten, his name in like 10 times. Yeah. And he went up there and was just and a he fucking, went up there and ate shit. <laughs> was an asshole, dude. Dude, that was like the loudest booze I've ever heard. Like, uh, usually when people suck, like, it's just silence. People are like upset when he did that drum solo or right. when he tried to do the drum solo. Yeah, that he was just fucking loud. He just fucked everything up. <laughs> I actually saw him put his name in like 10 times. Yeah. Because I was sitting next to another comedian. I was like having a beer and I just saw this guy kept writing his name down. I was like, yeah, That was me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Was that you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember I was like, See this fucking guy? Yeah. But I mean, I wasn't going to like snitch. And right. then, like. Well, he also said he was like, I came all the way from Vegas. And I'm like, All right, whatever. He sat there for like five minutes and I was like, All right, this motherfucker. Like, <laughs> Yeah, and then he ate shit. He wasn't funny. And then he fucking did the Mexican drum off, and he fucking didn't know how to play the drums. Fucking piece yeah, of that shit. Was ridiculous. Yeah, I would assume that he at least knew like something how to keep a beat, but he just like kind of smacked the drums. And... Yeah, that guy was and complete that, and... ass. Like I forget his name. Like I actually remembered his name for like a while. <laughs> like that's how mad I was. Yeah. Because I even watched it like on YouTube after we left, you know, and I was like, oh, this motherfucker. Yeah. Well, sometimes being a piece of shit pays off. I mean, he got on the show, so I don't know yeah. if he tried to was trying to plug his social media or anything like that. But yeah, if he, he uh, on, it worked, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if he had any sort of like fucking talent, you know, that could have maybe been a moment for him, I guess. Yeah, but now he's just known for being a <laughs> he's just a piece of shit. Piece of shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, so yeah, this, that was the first uh, when I kissed Ali Makovsky. That was my first kiss in a while, too, so it worked out pretty well. In that oh, sense. shit. Have you been kept in touch with her? No, not at all. I'm not on social media, so I don't. Uh, I wouldn't have any way to do so. Yeah, so I didn't know that was like his like thing, because I've been watching. Like I just basically started watching Kill Tony when he came to La Jolla, because uh-huh. I wanted to see what it was all about like before I went on there. Right. And so, yeah, that's like uh, they do that a lot, where they fucking... Like, I was watching one the other day, and they had this chick kiss, like, three different dudes. <laughs> Hell, yeah. I'm sure, I think one of the guys is like, well, I haven't got a blowjob in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, now I watch it, because I just never really got into it. And then uh, one of my buddies is like, one of my buddies in Indiana is like, oh, Kill Tony's coming to San Diego. And then, like, I didn't know what it was, and he was telling me about it. And so then I watched it, like, the day of that they right. were here. But now I watch it, and now I like it. Oh, Carmella, dude. <laughs> yeah, I started watching maybe like a couple weeks before, and then that was how I found out that it was there. Yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. I mean, a minute. I mean, it's still like you can if you're funny, you can be funny in a minute, you know. Right. Like Alberto uh, David Mercado, he fucking killed it. Yeah. I'm like in his minute, you know. Yeah, I like he went in a character too. Yeah, fuck yeah, he did. Dude. <laughs> I, remember, <laughs> I remember sitting there like in the back uh, where the rest of us were, you know, mm-hmm. and watching him. I was like, he sounds way more Mexican yeah. than he normally does. I am Alberto Mercado. <laughs> he did, dude. Cool, man. Whoever, yeah, I remember. I think I was next to you, and I was like, does he sound more Mexican than usual? And you're yeah. like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but he killed it. Tony said something like, "I'm gonna have to remember you" or something like that. So, Hell yeah, it worked out. Whatever it takes. I went out there with my my best bleach butthole stuff. Yeah. Had, to, had to pull out the big guns, you know. <laughs> they liked it. Yeah, that's one that usually it's either hit or miss, and luckily it, it worked out. <laughs>